I wonder if they're trying to beat that out from the side of Spice. It's possible. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's oh, Silas it? Jungle! It's Silas it's Jungle! Silas it's Jungle! Zed Nuke Duck on mid lane. Zed. Wow! Oh, baby! Okay, now props to Gilius. He thought that the Zed was going to be coming out last game. Will on the North game, and Nuke Duck goes in. The Ignite is ticking! And just as we praise him, Betty, as he once again shows us. Level six, what? because I'm looking at that corky health, and I reckon he can go for a kill. Gets it before he hits the level spike. Now we see trading in bot lane. You can see the jump in here, North Garen ticking away with the Ignite. Of course, no heal on Kobe or North Garen. She just can use the ulti. Oh, here we go. We're going to get the replay now. So, Humanoid is on about 50% of his HP. If Nuke Duck lands the Q. Ah, okay, yeah, there it is. So, I was thinking that if, he, if he's able to land the Q, um, then that should be terrifying. Ignite going down onto North Garen. Patrick lands the Buster. It's enough! That was a lot more damage than perhaps North Garen was expecting. Kobe still has the flash here, but Mickey and Patrick are pushing them back. Right now, things oh, are hard wrong for Spice. I'm just trying to take the 1v1. He wins this. Visit Chachi, lands the battle. Patrick flashes forward. That's time to practice. And uh, this is a, a much stronger performance from them. North Garen, yeah, he's going to die to that ignite. It goes across to New Duck, second kill of the game for him. And Origin are very much in control here. And the TP's up as well, so. Game's still quite tense for plans. Yeah, straight out to Mithy. He knew that that was happening, and the Ignite is going to tick him away. Kobe jumps in. He didn't need to do that, but he manages to get away with the Buster shot. So I'm going to give credit to Splice here because it is a good no, I mean, patch. It is a good bit. But Mithy knows they're around here. I mean, sure. I mean, I just don't think he's expecting two people to be sitting in that rush for any yeah, particular reason. And then, yeah, there's the Lantern. Quick, quick stuff there from Splice. <laughs> right, back, back to the farmer. Carry on. <laughs> okay. So there's a, there's a thousand gold between the two teams. Splice, though, are looking for a fight. Oh, oh here we go, here we go, here, here we, we go. go. As you say, Nuketus go game with the Death Mob, but Humanoid pops the stopwatch. That's a little bit too early. He'll still take the damage from the Death Mob, but as you can see, it's not too much. The rest of Splice on their way. Nuketus dodges back. He dodges around them all. Nuketus managed to escape for the moment as the Cannon Barrage comes out. Humanoid's still on the chase, and Nuketus is tick, tick, ticking away. One more missile will be enough. And that's the kill going over to Splice. Now, so uh, Humanoid's been able to get that one forward, so we're going to see again that play. Nuke so a very early stopwatch yeah. uh, used from Humanoid actually allows him to dodge out from the death mark entirely. Then Nuke Duck jumps back to the shadow, uses the first shadow to create a gap, and then flashes. The Gangplank Ultimate slows him down enough that allows Humanoid to be able to get this kill. And uh, even though when you land the E, it does reduce the cooldown of the W, uh, unfortunately it wasn't reduced. It's series on the LEC stage, I think we have to give him quite a lot of go. credit. And here we go. The bush has been baited. The started. trap has been set. Baron being started, as you say. It may just be vision that was being cleared out. Now Mithy's trying to look for that flank. He's had a few good ones this series, but I think... I don't know if they actually started the Baron. I think they were just getting control over okay. the vision. Okay. Good old Giving Nuketuk away. Cows. Danzawa, can you do it? Can you do it? Boo Origin! No, it's gone. Can't get in the P! Flashes late! And then he dodges out. Yep. You know, when you're picking this champion, something that you say, I'm so confident on this, give it to me. Oh, Mithy. Oh, Look, comes out, Noskaren. Looking for the play as well. Mithy goes golden, can dodge out, flashes, charms, gets away, but now the cannon barrage comes down and Splice are making the play. Alfari still in the mid lane. He's not even teleporting in here. Splice looking for the chase underneath the tower. New Duck gets caught with the uh, Void Seeker. But Splice are happy just to take the tower. They're the ones to be making the plays. And Origin can only sit and watch a split that went disastrously for them may have culminated in the biggest loss of them all. Alfari goes down. We'll just check straight into him. Origin on the top side, Mithy. It's something you've got to do something. You've got to pull something out of the bag here. You've got to put a rabbit out of Waves the Waves are building on the top side as well. Kobe oh, goes in. Kobe jumps in straight onto to Nuke Duck. Nuke Duck trying to win the trade, but Kobe flashes away. And Kobe is the one to do it. Nuke Duck falls. Kobe is not letting Splice fall out of world's contention. Nuke Duck's dead in the 4v5. Now Splice can look for the ban. Origin trying to do what they can. They're four members strong, but the cannon barrage comes out. And here comes the chase. Chachi on his way. Origin trying to retreat. Kobe. Puts out the long range Void Seeker once again. It hits onto Patrick, but now they turn their eyes onto the Baron. Someone has to deal with those super minions that are in the base. Origin, you gotta defend, you gotta fight, you gotta do something, because right now, Splice are just choking you out of this game. Suffocated and almost done for. Origin lose the Baron, Splice take it. Origin had the tools in order to force fights, force skirmishes, force picks, but it's Splice who are now in control. They found Zanzara, he's gonna lose his life. Unfortunate for Zanzara there, backing next to a ward. He thought he was safe, he was on a control. The chase still coming in here by Splice. If Zanzara can delay for a while, it does something, I guess, and he manages to. Kobe's still on the chase. 
Zanzo is going to step into the minions and they will start helping out. One more minion auto attack should be enough. Copy on a rampage top lane tower. I wanted to see more from them. And like props to Spice, you know, their win condition was just sit back and chill. And they've done a great job of it. And now they've controlled the map and now they're finding more picks. The flank comes in from our far. Oh, he has the flank. We wanted to see this 20 minutes ago, but maybe it will be enough now. Judge low, almost taken out. Alfari goes golden. Nuke Duck trying to do what he can. Sneaky. And yeah, that's the best one. Now Alfari is still in mid. Yeah, he's catching the waves. Catching the wave. Baron is up. Origin. Now put a ward in the bit, but that's controlled. Chachi has a flank here position go. here. Humanoid going in. 50 down to half HP. The kind of world comes out. And Nuketuck's on the front line. Nuketuck almost assassinated. Pots of death mark. Nuketuck almost falls, but he doesn't quite go down. Redemption used now. It's a coming in by Afari. I can hear the tears of quick shot in the distance as all of his fellow... Oh! oh. That's a lot of damage. All right, that should be the go signal. It's time to Baron. Let's go. Flash. Slicing Maelstrom. Zanzama in there. Doesn't oh, get in there late. in time. Too late, as you say. And Humanoid's just going to keep chip, chip damage coming out from the Corky with a rapid fire cannon. Will just take that tower lower and lower. Xerxes forcing out Bari out. Xerxes flashing forward. Xerxes almost falls. And he manages to get the kill in the end. It's Kami actually who takes out Bari. Look at New Duck. He's almost dead. He pulls the death mark. But this is just too little too late. Origin go in and go down in a heartbeat. Splice will take the win. They'll win the series three and two. They will be facing Schalke tomorrow. Their world's hopes are still alive. Origin done and dusted. Buried underneath the millions of Barons we've had this series. Splice take it. Splice will fight Schalke and Splice's world are still alive. Slow and steady did indeed win the race. Splice find themselves the final ace in the base of Origin, and they walk away with the victory. They will be going up against Schalke tomorrow. If they win that, they will lock a spot at the World Championship. Commiserations to Origin. It was a long, hard-fought game. It was. Definitely was. Well, I think that it, was a lot of watching. We did. We watched a lot today, Vedius. Not I mean, again, the, the best league. You know, we, we talked a lot about how like the pressure was high. Neither team wanted to make a mistake, but I feel like for Origin, they just they were too safe. They yep. were too reserved. When the Zed had two kills, we should have been seeing the Zed ever on the map. We should have been seeing more kills, more activity. I agree. We, just, we didn't get it. Spice. They got to the. The fabled Splice late game. <laughs> High fives for Zerse. Congratulations once again to Splice. Good job. I think, uh, like.